Central posterior anterior mobilization of the thoracic spine. What does the evidence say? Pecos Martin et al. 2015 found that grade 3 central mobilization over the most symptomatic thoracic segment reduces thoracic erecti spinae activity during extension of the trunk in people with non-specific thoracic spine pain. This is a Maitland mobilization technique of the thoracic spine and can be applied to all thoracic levels. Technique. With the patient in prone for T1 to 5, the therapist needs to be at the head of the bed, with the shoulders over the area to be mobilized. Maitland uses the thumbs, but it is easier to use the pisiform to apply the pressure through the spinous processes. To do this, interlace your fingers, palm to dorsal side of the hand, for extra reinforcement. Place the pisiform of the underside hand onto the spinous process and push in a posterior anterior direction over the spinous process that you want to mobilize. For T6 to 12, the therapist will need to stand at the side of the bed. This is a Maitland mobilization, so use the Maitland mobilization grading system for the technique. Grade 1, a small amplitude near the starting position of the range. Grade 2 is a large amplitude that is in the free range where no stiffness or spasm is found. Grade 3 is a large amplitude that is moving into stiffness or spasm. A grade 4 is a small amplitude stretching into stiffness or spasm at the end of the range position. As with the cervical spine, it is common practice to perform several sets of over one minute of mobilizations. Here is the technique again, but on a model spine to show you what to feel for. Thank you.